So Chelsea's going to show us how she uh, made this little drawing of Strudel, my kitty cat, and tufted it with a little punch needle to turn it into a pillow uh, using scraps, scraps from so quilts and also from like this project and past projects. Turned out really cool. So let's go. <laughs> sponsored by Squarespace. So, I found this person Chelsea on Instagram. It's her Instagram is Stuff by Chelsea. And they make these tufted pillows and I wanted to make something with them. So, my friend is in New York, Annie. I asked Annie if, if she could go film them making a pillow. And then I'm gonna make something for it to sit on later. So, cool. Here, here's cute Chelsea. Look at that fit. Look at that dog, look at that rain. Honestly, that jacket, I need it. I want it. I must have it. Um, and Annie's gonna sit down and chit chat with her for a little bit and kind of get into what we're doing today. Okay, here we go. Here we are. We've got Chelsea here today. She's gonna answer a few questions for us. Um, first question being, how would you describe your craft? Yeah. What do you do? How do you talk about it? What is it? Yeah, I call it tufting. Um, there's a lot of different like forms of tufting. I think a lot of people associate it with like the tufting gun, but I do a hand version of that. Um, okay. It's called punch needle. Okay. But it kind of produces the same effect of like a tufted so canvas. Yeah. Punch needle tufting. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. And how long have you been doing that? I've been doing it on and off for probably about four years, okay. um, but I started doing it very seriously about a year and a half ago. Okay, and typically you make a certain size for the pillows, right? Yeah. So yeah. what was that size? That's like a 12 inch pillow. A 12 um, inch pillow. Yeah, okay. not like this big, but I do go up to like 24 inches, which is like a big tufting frame size. Okay, and typically how long does it take you to do the 12 inch? Probably about four to six hours from like start to finish. Okay. Wonderful. And does that is that how you started off? Was it four to six hours in the beginning, or how long did it take when you were brand new to it? God, probably like days, like days. two to three days. Yeah, two to three days. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So if someone's new to this, they can expect for it to take a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Definitely. Patience is very important. <laughs> yes. And then today we're making um, a strudel pillow, yes. right? The yes. hairless cat strudel. <laughs> um, I'm excited. Let's get started. Awesome. Okay. So first thing she does is she's drawn up on her iPad. I believe that's an iPad. I don't have an iPad, so I don't know. But it looks really good. She's super talented. That's the design. And what she has is those frames. Like she said, she has a small one for like the 12 inch pillows, I think she said, and then one for the bigger one. And she put some of that cloth. It looks like it's like some sort of like monk's cloth. I'm sure it's like a tufting cloth. Uh, that's great for punch needle, punch needle cloth. Also, I have no idea what this little square mechanism thing is, but it looks incredible and why don't I have it? I would love to not have to use tack strips. So then she straces, not straces, but traces a glass square over it. She has this rad overhead projector. Look at that thing guy. Look at that thing guy. <laughs> what are words? And projects it onto it from her little iPad and just traces it on. And it's backwards, as you can see. Lettered. That's strudel backwards. Lettered. That's some nice letters you're drawing there. So when she traces it on, also I like that marker. Here's the deal. I feel like whenever I watch people create, I'm like, what am I doing? Why do why don't I have a fancy marker and a projector? Anyways, love it. Love it. Looks great. And now, what's next? Oh, she puts a bonnet on the square thing. That I have no idea and what did it you is. Make this or did you buy I, I, I must it. have it. Okay. Yeah, I must have a square thing. I must have a bonnet. Thing. And with that on there tight, she's ready to pick out the yarn for the colors, and she has it nice and organized. I should show you how I have my yarn organized. It is in a pile with who knows what. So there we got the yarn, and here we go. Oh yeah, you want to be in a video? <laughs> yeah. And then I 
mostly just talked here because I watch TV at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Like me, Chelsea likes to work in front of a TV, but she's going to do it on this table because it's going to be easier to film. What a sweetheart. You, sweetheart. So, first things first, take this yarn, get your punch needle. And I haven't seen a punch needle like this, which is pretty cool. She loops it from the back, whoop, and then right through the, f the front of that needle. And there's a little slot that you can just like poke the yarn into. That's neat. So with that, ready to go. Ready to start punching. Whomp. I have a video on how to do punch needling, um, kind of explains how it works and how to do it and there's makes little loops underneath and that's what she's doing, you just gotta follow the lines with the open end of the needle towards the way that you're going. I think that makes sense? And the thing about hand, oh right here, what's happening? Oh she's flipping it over to check and see how it's looking, looking good so she keep going. Um, what I was saying about needle, punch needle is it's wild how much detail you can get with it. Oh, and you also always need slack, otherwise it won't make the loop in the bottom, the loop won't stay. So here she goes, punching away. This is real time. That's so tedious. I think, and I, I, I believe her when she said that it take used to take her like a day or so, and now she can do it a couple hours. Even still, I don't know, I think it would take me a hot second to punch needle. I haven't done it in a while. But anyways. So, I also realized, let's see, when she gets to the end of a line, she, boink, what she does is she takes those sears, those scissors, and cuts the loop, womp, so that she can take it out and start on a new line. And that's, and that's showbiz, baby. So, uh, same idea if you, well, wait, what am I saying? I can't remember what I was going to talk about here. So, instead, I'm going to sing you a song. The, 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 I'm not going to sing you a song. I, Nope, just gonna we're just gonna watch Chelsea Tuft. So she got all the black done, checks it out, looking good. So she can change the colors. Oh wait, no, she has a little more black on the smiley face, changes to white, does some orange, and I love how Punch Needle looks. Womp womp. Especially by hand. There's that one tool. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it has like a a wheel that you crank. And I think that and like this by hand are some of the more satisfying tufting things. So she's getting all the colors done. And she also, I realized, she would periodically flip it over and she would fix all the loops. Like you see how the black loop is kind of looping around one of the yellows. So she'll fix that as she goes. And it's probably nice so that it doesn't get too uh, jumbled in the end. And she gets back to it just punching away getting all the dark gray in there and all the nice greens and purples and yeah. now it's time for a nice little lunch break and why she does that Whoa. poochie dog that's something to say so huge thank you to today's sponsor uh squarespace if you guys don't know what squarespace is let me tell you because i love them i want to take them out to a nice dinner it's kind of just a one-stop shop for all things website i Love it because of e-commerce, particularly. I want to sell those rugs that I just made, the leopard ones that like stretch out. And it was literally so easy to just like get the pictures. I actually just told, took like screenshots from my videos. You can actually like adjust the photos after you upload it to Squarespace, which makes things easier. Like you can do all the product detail. They, they take care of SEO and then marketing's easy with email campaigns and they have all the analytics for that. So you can boost those out. Another cool thing that I'm doing, thanks to Squarespace, is I can make members area. So like people pay, I think it's like nine bucks a month and they get access to a secret shop. And in that secret shop, I'm actually offering those rugs like $200 off, I think, or maybe $300, I can't remember. So really anything that I think of, any idea I have, Squarespace makes it super easy for that to become a reality. You can actually make a website today for free by going to the link in my description. It's www.squarespace.com backslash mood. And don't forget coupon code SHMOO to get 10% off your first purchase. Cool. And we're back to it. And if I remember right, this was probably like when I was looking at the footage alone. This is like hour two of just what was being filmed. So not to count what was it on film. Just going through the punching. It makes me want to hand punch something. I've been using a gun for like the last like 10 projects. And wow, first off, 
<laughs> that wow sounded in insincere, but I'm serious. That looks crazy. The detail is bonkers. So it just takes the bonnet off and takes it off. And it turns out that's a Velcro. I couldn't figure out what it was until this is Velcro. I need the name of that, Chelsea. Drop the link. Drop it. Um, but yeah, it just takes it off, looks in the back. It's kind of loopy doopy. So what she's going to do is she's going to shave it down. But even still, looks great. Oh, is she going to shave it down first? No, she's got glue. This glue. <laughs> Apparently it stinks. But one thing I noticed about it is when she's spatulated. Oh, she's not gluing yet. I'm jumping ahead of things. She's, tr <laughs> she's trimming the sides. And then she's going to cut little slits in the corners. So that's going to fold over nice and easy. This is the glue. Look how, like, not liquidy and terrible that is. I need that glue as well. So you don't usually let the glue dry before you just go in and do everything else? You, like, technically should, but I'm, like, impatient. Oh, uh, okay. I just, like, put a backing on it and let it dry. That makes a lot of sense. Also, the fact that you can bend this over, bend the corners over and let it, like, stick to the back, I think that's genius. A lot of people just cut the corners off, but I'm, like, terrified of these unraveling. Yeah. For the back. <laughs> so it doesn't get glue on the table. Perfect. So with the glue and the backing all on, now she's ready to trim off those loops with this rad little shaver that I need. I've been using one that I bought for my face. Oh, and there's the scraps that she puts in a little bag, and we'll be seeing that bag a little later. I, honestly, it's such a rad idea. Anyway, so vacuum it, shaves it down some more, making sure it's nice and even, all the details. Oh, and then she came through with the needle and was just like picking out some of the spots that like the loops kind of got looped on top of each other or like they're like bunched up and kind of hidden. And then she shaved it again, picked out more loops, shaved it again, vacuumed over until whoop. Final product. Looks so, so, so good. A strudel boy is going to be so stoked. Oh, I didn't get a, a f video of him and the pillow. How rude of me. I'll get it in the next video. Oh, here we go. So scraps. She has a bunch of scraps that she does the back with. Some quilting scraps. She just makes sure she has enough to, for the size of the uh, glass. That's like her, her, not her mold. What am I trying to say? Her template, her guide. Yeah, guide. Sews two straps together, cuts them on out, and then cuts off the corners. So that's gonna fold over real nice. Folds them over, pins them back with really cute pins. I, that's another thing I noticed. Everything she has is so cute. The pins have little butterflies on it. I, yep, it's fine, I want it. Pins on her rad little patch and begins to sew it down. Sews all the four sides. It's looking good. Now I'm just gonna sew down the patch. Same idea. Womp, 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 womp. With that, she's gonna put the tufting face down, back face up, the back face up. And she has little clips that she does four on one of each side and begins to sew by hand is bonkers to me but it turned out so so good i i keep so i'm not mean to like do so puns but the, okay, here we are. that's like where we're at stitch over yes it's called a blanket stitch blanket stitch yeah so it's like all connected okay it's like it helps keep it sturdy you get the stuffing um you can get it like literally anywhere it's polyfill brand so you can okay. get like joanne or michael's or okay. amazon and then I use this to stuff the corners since it's like a little more malleable. Yeah. And then I use like scraps to fill the rest so it's not, you know, it's wasteful. Cool. So here's the handy dandy scrapbook. I mean by scrapbook, I mean scrap bag. It's all the scrap from the project of making this pillow. And she just snuffs it all in. After getting the corners stuffed with uh, the, yeah. it was a con. I can't remember what, what she called it. And then she has a rig bag of all the previous scraps, stuffs it away, makes sure it's, it's nice and stuffed. And then stitches it up a little bit, adds a little more stuffing, stitches it up a little bit more, adds more stuffing until voila, a piece de la resistance. I, I, I don't butcher that, but that looks so good. Clips up the sides, final touches, and whoop. There's a cute patch. It 
there's the so bag. Like that. This is how she packaged it up, <laughs> which I didn't see this until after I opened it. So everything that came here was a, such a nice surprise. All these cute stickers and the pin and some stickers. And with that, she just wrapped it on up. S got it all good, packaged it up and shipped it out to me. And yeah, like I said, it was a surprise. I have not seen this and I loved it. You can check that out in the next video. Uh, Stuff by Chelsea. Also, I think I'm gonna talk about that right now. So I wasn't planning on editing this video myself. And then I ended up editing it, editing it. And I just want to like thank Chelsea for one allowing uh, us to like see her process and like be in her house and all these things. Kind of, I don't think about that because like for me when I film my stuff, it's like very much like well you can see anything. And so uh, I don't know. It was interesting to see kind of like that perspective, like kind of digging into someone's you know creative outlet and like it feels very it feels very like personal. I don't know, to see you watch someone work, which I've never thought about. So huge thank you to Chelsea for letting Annie film and also for letting us watch. And, and yeah, go follow her on Instagram. It's, it's uh, Stuff by Chelsea. Go order a nice a pillow. And yeah, I'm, I'm making, a, making a chair for it to sit on. That's the uh, next video, so cool. Alright, so be sure to like and subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell notification, and yeah.